hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can generate the qr code using java so for that let me just open intellizy here so if you are comfortable with eclipse id or netbeans you can go with that as well so once you open your id so let me just click on this new project and let me just choose this maven and just click on next and you can just give some name like qr code generate and let me just click on finish so once this is done so let me just go to this browser and search for z sing java se so just go to this first link from maven repository.com so down here you just need to choose this 3.4.1 and let me just click here so this will automatically copy this dependency and down here you just need to type dependencies and just paste that dependency and you just need to click here so once you add the java sc extension so we just need to add the core as well so just search for z i n z and just type core so let me just go into this first link from google.zsync and you just need to click here in the 3.4.1 and let me just click here to copy and let me just go into this id here and let me just copy down here and let me just click here to import as well so once this is done so let me just go into this source and inside the main so here inside java let me just create one java class so let me call it generate qr code and just click enter so here inside here let me just create one main method so here we just need to give the data so for that just type string and just type data so this data is basically what you want to display while you are scanning your qr code so i just want to display the link of my youtube channel so for that i just need to give the link of my youtube channel so you can just write some text or link whatever you want and down here we just need to give the path as well so this path basically is where you want to generate the qr code so i just want to generate the qr code into my desktop so i just want to give the path accordingly so in my case is users origin gotham desktop and you just need to give the name of image so i just want to give the origin codes.jpg so if you want to know where you want to generate or if you want to know the location you can just right click and go to the properties and onto this specific file so if i want to generate inside the desktop what i can do is as i can just right click and in mac we just need to click the option and here you can see copy option so if i just copy here we can directly paste here the path so this is basically desktop so you can just paste like that if you are using the linux or windows you can just go to the properties and properties of file you can directly find the path of that location so once you find the path and write this location what you can do is just use the bit matrix class so this class basically help us to create the qr code so let me just create the object just type matrix and just type new and we will be using the multi format writer and just type in code so here we just need to pass two parameters so just type data so which is basically the data which we are giving here and also we just need to write the format of the barcode format so just type barcode format and just type qr code so now we just need to give the width and height so in my case i will be giving the 500 for width and also 500 for height so once you do that so we just need to write into some path so which is basically this path so for that we will be using the matrix to image writer class so just type matrix to image writer dot write to path and here we just need to provide the object of that qr code which is basically a matrix and we just need to give the format of the image and also we just need to provide the paths so just type paths.get 
and just give the path so here you can see these errors so to fix this error we just need to handle the exception so for that just type throws writer exception and just type io exception so once you write that the error will automatically go once this all task is done we can print something like qr code successfully created and let me just run this program so here you can see the output qr code successfully created so to check let me just go into the desktop so here you can see on my desktop this image has been created so now to verify you can just open this qr code image and scan with your mobile application like qr scanner so you can basically find these apps on your play store so you can just download and just scan this qr code or you can just use the online qr code scanner to show the demo so let me just type something like qr code reader online so you can just go into this first link from zsync.org so let me just choose this file from this desktop and let me just click on open and if i just submit so this should show the raw text as which we have just given as our data so this is how you generate your qr code using java thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel